I'm Jenny Goff and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be making a chocolate cherry lava cake for Valentine's Day. Really yummy with a cherry brandy sauce. Let me show you how I make it. You making another stupid video? I'll be back. Take care of the problems around here. No! I'm back. I've taken care of the problems around the house. Now let me show you how I've made the molten chocolate cake with cherries in the middle. I think this is cherries. It's cherries. Let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is make our cherries. Um, some of the cherries will go in the filling and some of them we'll use for a sauce. So for this we need 16 ounces of cherries. Um, you can do any kind of cherries if you want to do sweet cherries, sour cherries, whatever kind you like. I've got some dark sweet cherries. I've got a quarter cup of brandy, a teaspoon of cinnamon, a half a cup of granulated sugar, and I'm gonna put in a half a teaspoon of almond extract. So we're just gonna get everything into this pan. So I put the cherries in. And they're kind of big and um, they're still whole, so I'm going to use my little um, potato masher and just kind of mash them down a little bit. Put in our half a cup of sugar, and before I start the heat, before you start the heat, you want to add the alcohol. You don't want the heat on when you do that. And our cinnamon. And our half a teaspoon of almond extract. Turn the heat on, just to medium high. Get this stirred up a little bit. Okay, so as soon as this comes to a boil, I'm gonna let it boil for about five minutes. I've got a pan of simmering water. I've got this on a medium low and I've got my metal bowl on top. I'm going to turn it down even more. Ooh, it's getting hot. I'm going to add in three quarters of a cup of butter and this has just been cubed. And I have got three ounces of semi-sweet chocolate and three ounces of dark chocolate. You can get the bars and cut them up. I had chips, so I didn't see a reason to go buy any more um, <laughs> full chocolate bars here. So I'm just gonna stir this around and melt it. And this is unsalted butter. All right, our chocolate and butter are nice and melted. Looks like there's a couple little chunks of butter still left in there, but they will melt soon enough. I am going to take this off of the hot pan and let it just sit there a minute. Move my pan. Our cherries are over here boiling away. So they've been boiling for eh, maybe about three minutes. But I want to make sure that all of our sugar is dissolved in here. Little bit longer a couple more minutes and then I'll break those up for the cake part we are going to use two t uh, two tablespoons of all-purpose flour a quarter cup of granulated sugar six tablespoons of cocoa powder three whole eggs and then I've got six egg yolks in here. Make sure that your eggs sit at room temperature for an hour before you use them. They're a lot easier to separate. I've got my six egg yolks in there. 
I'm going to put my three whole eggs. And I'm going to put my quarter cup of granulated sugar. And I'm going to beat these. I'm going to beat these for a few minutes until they turn the, a pale yellow and they kind of ribbon in there. So as soon as these are done beating, we'll be back. So the cherries are done and I um, went in and broke them up a little bit. So some are whole and then some are just kind of broken up. But I am going to pull and I'm using a slotted spoon to do this, I'm gonna pull out about a quarter cup of these cherries to put into the batter. So, okay, so it's a heaping quarter cup. <laughs> so I'm gonna put these over here to cool. And this, I'm just gonna let it cool off until we serve it. Now, when we serve the cakes, we're going to put this cherry put these cherries over the top okay we beat our eggs for a few minutes until they're a little bit more pale of a yellow and it starts to ribbon a little bit I'm gonna start adding in the rest of our ingredients I have our cocoa and this is six teaspoons so there's three and here are the other three I'm gonna mix this in before I add anything else. I'm also gonna add in about a half a teaspoon of salt. All right, while this is mixing, I'm gonna bring our chocolate over here. Our chocolate has cooled down a little bit. So I am going to start pouring that in, in a steady light stream to make sure it all gets mixed in. Oh, it smells so good. I love the smell of chocolate. I don't know anybody who doesn't. I want this mixed up really good and actually I'm gonna scrape down the sides um, before I add in the flour. Once you put the flour in, you don't want to overmix it. I'm going to drop our flour in. Two tablespoons. Okay, that is completely mixed in. I've got six ramekins, and I have um, greased these very generously with goop. And I am going to just divide the batter up between the six. I have divided my batter between six ramekins and I'm going to put them in the oven at 350 that I've had preheating. I'm going to bake them for 15 minutes and then I'm going to start checking them. If the top springs back at 15 minutes then they'll be done. Um, if the top is still a little bit moist I'll bake them a minute or two longer just until the top sets and then I'm gonna pull them out we won't want to bake them too long okay so 15 minute timer is up these are springing back they risen just a tiny bit bit looking a little souffle like they look beautiful I'm gonna let them cool for five minutes and then I'm gonna flip them out onto a plate to plate these up you need to pick it up in your hand with a towel that's very hot you need to take a little paring knife and just run it along the sides and make sure that it's loose and that it's going to come out okay. Take your plate and flip. Say a little prayer, knock three times. Whew. Make sure it comes out. Can't see it through the table. And look how beautiful it is. We've got a little bit of our cherry sauce with brandy. And you can certainly serve this with ice cream. Would be good. And there is our little lava cake with the lava coming out. How good does this look? 
Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share. And by the way, he isn't really dead. <laughs>